Welcome back to Action PC Golf 2014. Um, we're playing in the Mexico Classic Cabo at Cabo Mexico Ocean Course, round one. Um, Going to resume play here. When we left off, um, we were just about getting ready for Bubba Watson to tee off here. He tees off at 2 o'clock, and right now, oh, just a little while ago at 12.30, so... We'll continue up until then. All right, we'll play that round through. And so far, Vaughn Taylor is tied with Jim Herman and Ben Crane. And oh, now Wong John Huang is also in first place there. So we got a four-way, uh, three-way tie now. It keeps changing. Our first. Through there, and they're all they're all three of those except for John Wan Hung, are finals. Stuart Sink got an eagle on hole number three, so it's kind of cool. It shows a little highlights here, and you can actually on the left hand side here you can check all the different highlights that were made and what time they were made and everything. Uh, weather conditions, you can adjust those. Uh, you can animate um, CPU playing partners, so that means when you're watching a computer player play, if you highlight them, um, you can also watch the their playing partners play at the same time too. I'm not gonna do that though. All right, you can track different teams here. You can count like, you know, the USA top USA teams. Uh, top six scores for the USA, Australia, Japan, Sweden, you know, the countries that are in there involved. Oh, it looks like Bubba Watson is about to start. So with that, we'll move over to, to the gameplay here. All righty. Um, let's see. I'm just going to keep track of the time here so we don't go much over 10 minutes. All right. I got an idea now. All right. Um, so Bubba Watson is up to shoot now. Um, you can... Down here, you can change your clubs if you want to. Um, right now, obviously, we're going to go the driver first. Um, you can choose whether you want to have a straight shot or put a fade to it or not. Um, you can choose a high shot, normal shot, or punch shot. And um, you can actually choose if you want to do the swing meter too, which is kind of like a video game kind of thing. But I usually don't do that yet. I'm not too familiar with that, so I kind of um, shy away from that right now. Um, Anyway, and uh, I usually turn the CPU assist shot targeting on. It'll give the C the computer will give me some ass assistance on where to shoot the ball. I usually get like three or four different choices, and I usually go with with one of those, um, depending upon the lie and everything. All right, so I'm going to close that on, and then when I hit the CPU button right down here, it'll put the ball down here um, where it's going to land and where it's approximately where it's going to roll to. And you can also do if you want to do um, shoot toward the center of the of the the flag of the green of the green, or right here, and then, or you can shoot towards the pin or the green center kind of thing. Um, some other things too is if you right here you can view it from the hole, the ball to flag, tee shot, green ball, or image. Um, and if you right click here, you can read the green. It'll show where the green is breaking. Um, show the terrain, pretty much how the terrain is going, you know, what, du what direction it's breaking. Um, conditions are like the weather conditions right here. Kind of gives you an idea of what the conditions are. Um, my scorecard, I haven't shot anything yet. And these are my playing partners here. Okay. Um, and a summary of what's going on, shot by shot summary, um, so far. And I can reset the preferences here too. Um, so, you know, I can use a swing meter if I want to, which I'm choosing not to right now. Um, swing difficulty, um, and various other things here. Size of the ball. Um, how much time to wait before the computer guy shoots, different things like that, sound effects, uh, animation of the ball, and I can use a cursor, I can either use the hand, the cross, or the arrow, I usually go with the hand for now, 
and I can change the mouse label green color. All right, okay, I'll accept that. All right, and we'll go for our shot here. So as you can see, as I hit the CPU thing, it changes, mostly changes where the ball ends up. That one is a little bit up there. Um, now Bubba Watson himself, let's see, tends to have, miss tendency is balanced. So I'm just gonna go with a shot in the middle of the green somewhere, in the middle of the uh, fairway. All right, so we'll try a shot here. Here's the ball flying through the air. It zooms in a little bit. And oh, it just off the fairway, I think. So the ball went, shows how I hit the ball. I missed it. 1.7 degrees to the left. The contact, 96.2 um, degrees, a uh, percentage. And uh, the lie effect, 100%. Yeah, my dog doesn't let me like that. Alrighty. All right. Um, now we're going to, so we'll continue here. Give me a second here. All right. Okay, and it shows the ball um, where, where the other balls landed by the uh, other guys in the group. All right, so it's my shot now. So I'm going to go with the CPU assist here. And you don't have to use that. I can kind of set it where I want to. But for now, since I'm a kind of a novice golfer, I, I'm going to um, go with the CPU assist here. All right, so and again, I'm going to check the read the green here. It's breaking in the middle there, so it seems fairly flat there. So I'm going to go with that. It's, it seems like it's pretty much on the hole here. All right, here we go. Oh, I don't think I have the, my volume set on here, so give me a second. There we go. My dog will probably bark now with the birds in the background. All right. Uh, okay, so let's see where it fell here. Well, fairly close here. So now I have, I have a birdie shot here. And uh, I can either go with a lag shot, an aggressive putt, or just a normal putt. And uh, it kind of gives me a percentages here, average leave and different things like that. All right, so I'm going to go for the putt here. Ah, oh, I just missed. So, so I got a par on that one. Okay, all right, so it shows right here up top here. I did my first hole. Um, I got an even par right now, and I shot. we all shot a four on that one too, so. All right, so let's play the round, and then it'll stop again when it gets to me. Okay, here we go again. All right, we're on hole number two now. It's a par 5, 561 yards, my first shot, so I'll set it up again, Let's see what different options we have here. Pretty much the same, so we're just going to go with that. Alright, go for the swing. Oh, miss hit that one. Ouch. Into the heavy rough there, it looks like. Yeah, I missed it 7.8 degrees to the right. And I 106.6% contact and my lie effect 100%. So, yeah, I'm in the desert now. So, and then right down here, you can see the desert is, looks like 78 to 94%. Um, so, it's really kind of a real heavy. Uh, it's really going to impair my shot here. So, let's see where, see where they put me. And I could still shoot for the green, though. That's good. So, hopefully, it won't affect me too much here. All right, let's go for it. Let's see what other options I have here. I'll be, uh, shoot as far as I can onto there. All right, here we go. Ugh, into the sand. It's kind of a tough lie. All right. All right, so I got shot number three. Still in pretty good sh shape to get a get a birdie. If I can get it out of here, well. Now, I'm in the sand here, so I can either pitch it, lob it, flop it, or chip it. Um, I usually go with the pitch right here. I think I'm going to go with that. So here we go. Oh, I'm going to set a target here. Okay, I'm going to go. Uh, let's see what the break is on this. It's down here, so I want to go a little bit beyond it. 
Okay. Ah, hell back in. Ah, had a good shot there. Uh, much better. But, all right, at least we can save par here. Crowd seems to like that. Okay. All right, so we get par on that one, which was not too bad considering we ended up in the heavy rough there. All right, so now we'll play in the next hole. Play the next round. And looks like the lead golfer has got a is is one, two, three, four, five guys tied at negative eight with I think the. One of the guys tied is selling in his 13th hole, so that that score could go up. All right, so all right, now we got a hole three is a par four, 323 yards. First shot here. Right, go with that one there. Bubba Watson is a very good um, distance. His driver 9.7. That's pretty much as high as you can get. Pretty close. Probably one of the highest, the longest uh, distance driver in the field, at least today. Very good. Awesome. Par 4 on the green in 1. So we should have an excellent shot at, at, a, at a birdie and a slight chance at an eagle. Let's see what we got going here. Okay, and it also gives a little description on what the, how the green is reading. Slightly downhill, moderately left to right. So slightly downhill, I usually just go with a putt, a laggle, tend to like, you know, keep it shorter or aggressive is longer. If it's like moderately to severely uphill, then I'll go with an aggressive. And if it's the same thing, moderately to severely uphill, I mean downhill, I'll go with a lag. But it's only slightly downhill, so I'm just going to go with a regular putt. Ah, oh, just missed. Well, at least we can get a birdie on this one. And we do. So we get our first birdie for the day on that third hole there. Okay. So we're at negative one now after three holes. All right. Let's see. Eventually, I'm probably going to play around with the more of these meters and everything like that but right now i'm just trying to get a feel for the game so i'm just going to kind of leave it as as basic as possible here well, good sound effects and everything too it gives you that feel like you're on the coast near the on the ocean there okay let's see all right give it a swing that's a really not bad not bad a little bit to the left, but all right. So the lie is 81 to 97, so we get a little bit of a rough there. Looks like one of the other guys made it in the sand here, so we can avoid that. That would be nice. Oh, unfortunately, it looks like we're in the sand too. And play uh, only a 5.4. That explains why he didn't do so well last time. That's only maybe average. Okay. All right. So I think we're gonna try a lob this time. I'm gonna try it, lob it up a little bit more. See if that helps us. Okay. Uh, too bad. Too bad. We'll take it. Still have a good, decent shot at a birdie here. Moderately left to right. 8.7. feet away. Moderately left to right. All right. So we get a good shot at a, at a birdie. At least a decent shot. Ah, oh, just missed. Unfortunately, it's still 1.4 feet away. So, all right. Par. Right. Oh yeah, there's one other thing I wanted to show you too. I'll show you that the next hole. Negative 10 is the leader now. All right, uh, 
right here it kind of gives you the leaders. You know, check them right here. So Graham McDowell is a leader at negative 10 after 15 holes. Um, and it shows on the fifth hole today pretty much just the ball spread. Um, the white of the pars. The bl dark blue are the eagles, which there are none so far. And the light blue are the birdies. Shows you where the birdies were on their first shot. Um, bogey is like an orange and a dark orange for the uh, double bogeys, which there are a couple of double bogeys. But, and it kind of gives you an average for the hole. So 4.07, so slightly over par. Um, and this shows you where the second shots went pretty much. And then third shots right here for those who missed uh, miss par. So I'm probably going to want to aim somewhere in the middle here. Gives me a good shot at a... You know, for a birdie or at least a par. I don't want to which obviously avoid the sides here. Okay. And I have to hide it again before I can shoot. So we'll go with that right in the middle there. It's not too bad. Oh. Ugh. Looks like I ended up a little far off there, so. Alright. So if you compare it to um, right here, if you compare it to where the spreads are, ah, I still get a good shot at a that's me. Still got a decent shot at a uh, getting on the green here in two. Oh, that's not me though. Fortunately, that's me right over here. Blue. Eh, just a little good shot at a par. There's only one bogey around me, so it's a lot of par, so I still got a good shot. Alright. Try to aim out and see where the, see where the green breaks here comes down here, so I'm going to go, let's see, I'll go right there because I'll tend to come back probably, alright, oh, another miss hit, oh, and the sand again, can't seem to avoid that sand here, hmm. can at least save power hopefully, maybe we'll go for the lob again, that seemed to work out pretty well for us last time, Gonna be a little bit of a tough shot here. Moderately downhill, slightly left to right. 9.1. I'll try the regular putt, I think. Yes! Woo! Scary for a second there. At least we say par. So we're still at negative one after five. Okay. Do one more hole here, then we'll cut the video for now. Alright, so, alright, this one's a par 3, a lot of places we could go wrong on this one, so this is going to require a really accurate shot here, check the different people, there are no eagles, so obviously on a par 3, there have to be a hole in one, uh, birdie 17, bogey's 32, par 73, so good chance we could miss hit it here. Went four double bogeys, so we gotta be really careful here. Okay. Alright, I think we're gonna go. We've been shooting to the right more, so I'm gonna go over there. I think that's good right there. Alright. Very nice, very nice. We'll take that, definitely, definitely. 12 feet away. Alright. Birdie. Very nice, very nice. Got a birdie on that one. Good. Nice 12 foot putt there. Excellent. All right. Well, we'll leave it on that note here. Um, so after five, we're at negative two. Um, the leader right now is at negative nine through 16. So we're a little bit off the pace, but you know, like I said, I'm just getting used to this game now. So we'll improve as we go on. Alrighty, well, we'll see you next time in Action PC Golf 2014. Hope you enjoyed it. If you got any questions or any uh, suggestions, please let me know. Alright, have a great day. God bless.